If your code looks like spaghetti, you're a pasta chef, not a programmer. But don't worry, we're here to help you untangle that mess and turn you into a coding maestro. Let's fix that with some C programming basics. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation to build upon. All right, first things first, what is C? Understanding the roots of this language will give you a better appreciation of its power and versatility. C is a powerful general purpose programming language that's been around since the 1970s. It was developed by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Labs and has since become one of the most widely used programming languages in the world. It's like the granddaddy of modern languages like Python and Java. Many of the languages you might be familiar with today have their roots in C, making it a fundamental language to learn. To start coding in C, you need two things, a text editor and a compiler. The text editor is where you'll write your code, and the compiler is what translates your code into a language that the computer can understand. Think of the text editor as your notebook and the compiler as your translator. Popular choices? There are many options out there, but some are more beginner-friendly than others. Try Visual Studio Code for your editor and GCC for your compiler. Visual Studio Code is a versatile and powerful text editor that supports many programming languages while GCC is a robust compiler that's widely used in the industry. Now let's write your first C program. This is an exciting moment as you'll be creating something from scratch. Open your text editor and type this. This is the starting point for every C program and it's important to understand each part of the code. Hash include. This line tells the compiler to include the standard input-output library, which is essential for many basic functions in C int main. This is the main function where your program starts. Every C program must have a main function as it's the entry point for the program. This curly brace marks the end of the main function. Everything between the opening and closing braces is part of the main function. This little snippet is your first step into the world of C. So what's happening here? Let's break it down further. Hash include tells the compiler to include the standard input-output library. This library is crucial for functions like printf and scanf, which handle input and output operations. Int main is the main function where your program starts. The int before main indicates that this function returns an integer value. The parentheses can hold parameters, but for now we'll leave them empty. Printf hello world nan prints the classic hello world message. The an at the end of the string is a new line character which moves the cursor to the next line after printing the message. Return 0 ends the program. The return statement sends a value back to the operating system. Returning 0 typically means that the program executed successfully. Save your file as hello C. The C extension indicates that this is a C source file. Then open your terminal. Navigate to your file's location and type GCC hello CC oh hello to compile. The GCC command invokes the GNU compiler collection and the O option specifies the output file name. Navigate to your file's location and type GCC hello CC oh hello to compile. The GCC command invokes the GNU compiler collection and the O option specifies the output file name. Once the compilation is successful, you'll have an executable file named hello. Run it with slash hello and voila. Your first C program in action, V, before the file name tells the terminal to execute the file in the current directory. Your first C program in action. And that's it. You've just written, compiled, and executed your first C program. Your first C program in action. And that's it. You've just taken your first steps in C programming, but this is just the beginning. You've just taken your first steps in C programming. Keep practicing and soon you'll be coding like a pro. The more you code, the more comfortable you'll become with the syntax and structure of C. Keep practicing and soon you'll be coding like a pro. Remember, every expert was once a beginner. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and learn from them. Happy coding!